guys. They're playing saxophone music. This is where I would put careless whisper saxophone song, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So just imagine it. This dog is walking around on handstands while I can barely walk up the stairs without breaking everything and everyone in front of me. True story. It's a squirrel that can skateboard. I don't know how people teach animals to do these things. Like, I can't do any of these things, none of it. I can't play saxophones, I can't handstand, I can't walk, I can't not hit my mic, I can't skateboard. Honestly, if this squirrel on a skateboard was a video game, I would buy it. I think it's really nuts. <laughs> Get it? Because they're squirrels and they love nuts. Delicious! Okay, now I'm not sure what's happening here, but if you ever see this in real life, then head indoors immediately. The grizzly bears are finally attacking. I have ridden a horse once, actually. Guys, yay! The only thing on this list I can do. Well, sort of. It's not very convenient. Like, what am I gonna do? Just, you know, ride my horse to the mall? Most useless talent that I have. This is all fun and games until that elephant tips over and falls on top of you like whew, whew. But he's so cute, I love elephants so much, guys. Saw so many elephants in Thailand and they all like made me happy and I, well, I didn't play with the big ones, but I played with the little baby elephants and I was like, you're so cute and I wanna take you home, but I can't. Animals that do housework. I can't even get my boyfriend to do housework. Okay, scratch that. I can't even get myself to do housework. And we got dogs out here ironing shirts. Like, oh, this is so cute, but also is this animal labor or just a funny trick? Okay, now this one has to be the most impressive because if you know things like I know things, then you know cats don't like water. Try to put a cat in a bath. Oh, you're gonna get scratched the up. Gonna get scratched up. Honestly, this cat looks hella adorable, but also kind of looks like he wants to scratch you the up. Like who thought he wanted to be there? He's probably fast. Surfing in Hawaii is this dog living every dog's dream or what? I don't get jealous, but like if I did, I'd be jealous of this dog. Okay, maybe I'm a little jealous. Mm, okay, I'm jelly AF. I'm a peanut butter jelly sandwich. What am I talking about? Oh my God, guys, every time I'm really weird, it's probably late at night and I'm losing my mind. That's why you should get your sleep. So you too don't lose your mind like Azzy. Look at him. He's a proper little gentleman. All we need to do now is give him a little monocle and a top hat and look at him. He's even more fancy on top of that horse. If your dog doesn't have its own pony, do you even love your dog? <laughs> rich AF, love giving my dog a pony. <laughs> love money. Imagine being that rich that your dog gets its own pony. They say dogs copy the actions of their owners. And someone in the family here has some explaining to do because What's going on here? Also, he flexible AF, like this dog needs to be a gymnast. I can't do that. I'm like about as flexible as a rock. Try to bend a rock and then you'll know how flexible I am. <laughs> Is this dog walking to the store with a clutch bag? Why does it look so proper? Why do I want to give all my money to this dog? Like, take it all. Oh, I will, baby. I'll take it all. This dog is a gold digger. Do dogs dig for gold? No, they like bones, right? Bone digger. He's after all my bones. Dogs riding skateboards. We are finally living in the future. Okay, maybe it's not really the future. It's the present. But this is a world I want to live in. A world where dogs like this are cute AF on skateboards. Like... <laughs> That's so cute. Imagine how fast he could go. Like he probably loves it. You know when they're like in a car and they have their head out the window and they have all that wind in their face and they're like <laughs> and they love it like Hello. He can provide that experience to himself with safety. A dog driving a car isn't safe. I'm just rambling. Go me. I love that. Teaching a parrot how to play basketball. This parrot still had a better season than the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Sorry guys, love you, but I only speak the truth. But I probably should just shut up because <laughs> as if I could ever dunk a ball, like who are we kidding? This seal did the trick so well that even the trainer is confused. She's like, you weren't supposed to do that, but I like it. We're gonna make so much money off this seal. Oh, he's so cute, my heart is just melting, no. Sometimes animals, they can make me cry because they're so cute. Look at him, look at his face, downward doggo. 
Yup, perfect form. My yoga instructor would be so proud of him, not me. I can't do that. I always thought that these tricks were super impressive, but only, and I say only, if the animals are treated right. Because, you know, some circuses had to shut down because they were mistreating animals. It's kind of sad. Animals are friends. Don't, don't do that. Is he doing a trick? No. Tricks are for magicians. He's doing a 10 page research paper. I don't know if I'm even joking or not. Did I make that up? Or is he actually doing that? Now I'm confused. If dogs could start doing homework instead of eating it, that would be amazing. All the times you go to school and your dog ate your homework, like sometimes for real though. And then the one time it happens to you, they, the teachers will never believe you because everybody else lied about it. But now imagine if your dog is like, yo, let me just do your homework for you. That's a world I want to live in. That's also a world where dogs probably take over and then we become their dogs, you know? <laughs> if they're doing our homework, they're probably smarter than us. Yeah, oh wow, that just took a huge turn. Finally, a bird that has mastered how to roller skate. I'm tired of them pretending like they're better than us by flying. Be humble and use roller skates, please. Ugh, so inconsiderate of us flightless animals. <laughs> I'm joking. You got wings, you fly. Fly, little birdie. Ka! I am really weird today. Wow. I hope we can post this video. Oh, it's another cute one. This is so cute. Guys, I love it so much. I've heard of Instacart. That service that, you know, brings the groceries to you. What I really like is Insta Bark. It's the same thing, but dogs bring it. Totally didn't make that up. Okay, fine, I made it up. <laughs> but you believe me for a second, right? No, you didn't believe me for a second, okay. Monkey on stilts, not bad. But once they start learning how to drive cars, that's when we really need to worry. That's when we're doomed. He knows, look at his face. He's watching me. Okay, he's cute though. So like, I wouldn't mind. Rule my land. Guys, we found the new queen of Aziland, this monkey. Is this a coincidence or did someone teach a swan how to dab? At least that's what I want to tell myself and what I want to believe. This swan is woke. He watches way too much YouTube. Oh, again, guys. If this keeps going, I won't be able to carry on. Cuteness overload. But how? How does he even get up there? This is like a dog-human trick combo. Oh, again. Stop the cuteness, stop it. These dogs look like they're about to do a musical number with, you know, kicking and dancing. They also look like one of those, you know, those two emojis of like the, the people kicking and they were like a like a black dress or something and they have bows in their hair and they're all like, hey. I'm just gonna put the emoji here. I probably did not explain that well. Oh my God, it's break dancing cat. Okay, so this isn't really a trick. I just needed an excuse to look at this adorable face. He's such a good boy on a swing. Every like equals one pet that this dog gets. Okay, dogs are not cup holders. I don't know if this is a trick or if it's a cup holder thing. If it's a cup holder thing, I hope he spills your coffee because that's rude. But if it's just a trick, then like carry on. He's playing the piano and barking. I love it. I'll buy his Christmas album. When a dog has literally more talent than I ever could, I could never. I am shook. Oh, he, he's cleaning his own poopy. This is so cute and also so gross at the same time. Imagine if dogs learned how to do this. I'd be so grateful. You know, this is the worst part about having a dog. You have to clean up after them when you take them for walks. But still worth it because they're cute, but also... But like, how many kids like ask for dogs and then their parents end up doing this? If you're one of those kids, don't lie. I see you there. You can't lie and hide from me. But I'm also not giving you a hard time because I totally would have been one of those kids. But my parents, they did not fall for the trap. They outsmarted me. They were like, no, Azzy, no. You'll never clean up after that dog. And I was like, yes, I will. And they just saw right through all my lies. All my lies and all my dreams. And then I never got my dog. True story. It's, oh, it's a fish. What? All these people saying fish aren't smart? All these people saying fish have no brains? Well, this fish has more brain cells than me. You think I can jump through a hoop? No. I'm impressed, guys. I'm impressed. This fish deserves a medal. Sorry, I need to stop watching this. I'm mesmerized. Yay. Animals doing 
tricks. Also, I can retitle this as animals that are significantly better at everything than I am. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so, so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. And also give your doggy, catty, whatever, a big hug. Maybe not your fish, because that might kill it. I don't know, what else can get hugs? Can birds get hugs? I don't know, can birds get hugs? These are questions I need to know. Let me know, can birds get hugs? Anyways, guys, <laughs> bye!